hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us today our daily bread forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen father in your hands we place this evening we pray for all the people who are part of this bible study that thank you for filling all of us with your understanding with your holy spirit thank you lord for opening our minds to know your word to learn your word thank you lord for using each one of us for your glory in jesus name we pray amen over to you brother praise god praise god so i was with the mighty mom ah okay Minister. okay there's a ministry called mighty mom ministry yeah yeah i know you have told so they are, so they are all moms hmm and they have been getting results all the time okay so i told them let me tell you why you are getting so many results mm-hmm. what is the reason mm. okay because if you join their group you know it is uh. the most unsystematic uncivilized uh, way of praying okay you know it, it is like you know all the mics are on and all of them are singing speaking the prayer and it is at at different different speed if mm. a person joins for the first time no Yes, yeah. I don't want to be in this group. Uh, but but what they have is they have a community prayer from the white book, yeah. confession of the scriptures. Yeah. And then say let's say A has got an issue. Hmm. So A will talk to the heads in the heads means those who are there leading hmm. and send a message to A uh, uh, to B. Uh, a has got a problem B is talking to B that I got a problem. Uh-huh. okay so b will say okay tell us what time you are free hmm so b says i'm free at such and such time okay hmm. so a will uh, so b, so b sorry a will say i got such a problem so b will organize hmm. a zoom meeting with that person because as you know in dubai uh, the whatsapp are not working yeah so they'll fix up a zoom meeting yeah and get that person on a zoom Yeah. And now that person will be surprised that there are three more moms there. Hmm. Okay. Now A is very very burdened and A wants to speak everything out of her mouth. Hmm. But B will see to it that she will not allow A to speak the problem hmm. and say by you opening your mouth and speaking the problem hmm. you are going to activate a spirit called fear hmm. which is going to cause more self destruction in your life. Hmm. Instead of that you just watch us and we will talk to you hmm. and then we will pray with you hmm. so now a is listening to b c and d hmm. okay and they are sharing each one's life and each one's testimony and the word of god and all that and now they are saying a we want you to open your mouth and speak it with us hmm. and for the next half an hour they will take the scriptures and make their a repeat Uh, now a has to visit their zoom meeting every day and after that hmm. okay uh, within a week everything is changed oh amen why do you think all these things are happening yeah so the principle is the same like how when god looked at the chaos and the darkness in the world god said let there be light when jesus looked at the people who are suffering he pronounced healing so when we we follow the same thing instead of looking at the problem we look at the word of god and pronounce you know solution to it as per the promise of god we will see the results so today we are not able to do that we try to you know we it's also in our own mistake because we wanted uh, you know to a person to go and go on go on you know sharing the you know the burden we have our own reasons for that but when you really look at it by listening to a problem does it uh, help that person i don't know but i can definitely uh, you know uh, say that from what you have experienced and what you have shared is that if you speak the word of god there is a solution for that so you can just write down one paragraph and then today jose you are going to explain to us <laughs> i am going to sit and watch and you are going to explain because i'll give you the truths no okay yeah, okay we'll play today today what happened was in melbourne uh today was my um by yesterday was my daughter's anniversary mm. so they decided that they want to go out mm. 
So I said, yes, I will come with you. Mm. Okay. Mm. Then they saw that I said cheerfully, but they could sense something. And they said, okay, what time is your class getting over? Mm. So I said from 12 to 4 is Melbourne. Mm. And from 5.30 to 8.30 is uh, uh, Canada. Mm. So they said up to 8.30. Mm. I said, yes. Mm. So from 12 o'clock, so the whole noon till night. Okay. Mm. Mm. So they said, okay, what we will do is we will not go out. We'll order food from outside. Mm. Okay. So I'd already mentioned that I won't be there, mm. but I will be there for Canada. Mm. So now when this program got cancelled, I joined the Zoom, mm. but I put a different name and I attended. Mm. So Because I'm not there, no, I'm not supposed to be there. Yeah. So I wanted to attend. Mm. And I was listening. And it was such a beautiful class, brother. Mm. Three people came from the team mm. and they were speaking so much deep, mm. so much deep, that I was actually having tears in my eyes. Mm. And when I began to speak after that, mm. that it is me, mm. you know, then they say they did not know that I was there. Uh, and I started to say, uh, uh, they, were not just been... you, they, find they had known that you were there. <laughs> so, so it was a real beautiful thing. So I said, now in this coming days, uh, I will sit in the class and you all will give the class yeah. of what you all have learned. Yeah. And that is what I want to say to everybody. And, and, the, and the reason I was happy is that God is so true to his word that he's saying faith can be taught. Yeah. Truth can be taught. Yeah. Decision making can be taught. Uh. Okay. And when a person learns, the person is sure about victory. Yeah. Correct. Today's class got over at 520. And 5.30 was my class to Canada. And I said, there's only 10 minutes remaining. I'm going out of the class. You all can continue. Mm. And then I closed out. I, I came home. 5.30, I saw all of them jump into Canada. Also. <laughs> yeah. So we can see how people have become hungry for the word. Okay. okay. Right on. When yeah. I speak my fears, mm. please, this is very, very important. Okay. for To win the battle. Yeah. When I speak my fears, They mm. will grow and nullify my faith. They will grow and nullify my faith. Mm. I can't keep the devil from bringing thoughts. I can't keep the devil for, mm. from bringing thoughts mm. of doubts. Mm. For bringing thoughts of doubt and fear to my mind, bringing thoughts of doubt and fear mm. to my mind, mm. but those things will die, mm. but those things will die, mm. unborn, uh, things will die and? Those things will die unborn okay. if I don't speak them. Oh. If I don't speak them. Hmm. What do you think about that, Joe? Come on, let's discuss. So this is speaking uh, the right words. Uh, whatever you speak is what happens according to Proverb 18.21. Yeah? Correct. So when, Correct. You speak, when you speak, the words become true in your life. And uh, I wanted to bring in uh, one aspect of how the whole speaking works in, in the spiritual realm is starting with uh, one uh, Hebrews 114, where the angels are assigned uh, for uh, those uh, angels are appointed to assist those who are to inherit the salvation. Right. So which means uh, we are surrounded by angels. We are surrounded by angels of God who are always at the command of God who to execute the spoken word of uh, our spoken word and they will fulfill what the words that uh, we speak okay which, which means if we speak god's word as isaiah 55 11 says the word that goes out of our mouth will not return to me till it fulfills the purpose for which it has been sent if that is what the word of god uh, does it then angels has the role to play 
the play, the uh, execution part of uh, the word that we speak. Now, how do they do it? They are, as per Psalms 120, where the angels are hearken to the spoken word of God, which means they are waiting for man to speak God's word so that they can take that word from the mouth of the person who is speaking and fulfill that purpose which is been sent. Now, this is on the positive side. This is on the, uh, you know, the positive side of uh, speaking. This is from the kingdom side. Kingdom, kingdom of God side. God side. Then there is also okay. the uh, uh, devilish side or rather the evil side of it. As much as the, uh, the angels are assisting us, there are also the angels of the evil one who is waiting for an demons, demons. demons to hold demons. for waiting for an opportunity to pull us down, to give to inflict uh, sufferings upon us, to bring disaster upon us. So if we speak, when we speak uh, uh, the negative words, when we speak fear out of our mouth, the way angels are fulfilling God's word, the uh, evil uh, angels. Uh, will fulfill whatever we have, whatever fear that we speak out of our mouth. Is that what's correct? Yes, brother, very correct. So, so now you wrote there, I can't keep the devil from hmm. bringing thoughts of doubt and fear to my mind. Correct. Okay. Now those thoughts, uh, th those doubts and fear and worry has already entered my mind. Hmm. Now, can I, can I allow or can I have the authority to destroy this unborn um, thoughts, unborn thoughts or fear that is already running in my mind. Yes, we have the authority in Luke ten nineteen. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the powers of the enemy, and nothing will harm you. So this promise which God has given to us, and this through this word, the authority is being given to us, and that authority is what we use to bind every uh, thought. It is also there in uh, there in which one uh, Corinthians where it's, we captivate every thought. Two, and, two, and two Corinthians it. ten three four five. Yeah, every thought we capti we captivate every thought and bring to the obedience. To Christ, so we have. So now, how do we do it? The way we, which I, the way I do it is this: that in any thought that comes in, I use always this uh, one Corinthians three sixteen. My body is the temple of God's Holy Spirit. God's Spirit is dwelling in me. The negative thoughts have no right over me. And for me, this has been absolutely a brilliant, uh, you know, uh, way of dealing with it because. I, my belief is this: that the Spirit of God, which who is in me works is very hot means it's he's like the fire the fire the fire is burning inside of you the the you know the small cockroaches like uh, the devil cannot come it will burn he, they will get burnt you know in the deliverance cases we have seen when you know priests or the exorcist uh, sprinkle the holy water right upon people you know people you know really uh, you know act like act like snakes and they they some some even say the fact that they are they've been burnt by fire so that is the imagination that i uh, have when i use this prayer so the thoughts the negative thought that comes into my mind i immediately use this 1 corinthians 3 16 to attack and kill it and this is a constant process because uh, you know as as uh, you know brother has said you cannot keep a devil from bringing thoughts of doubt and fear in, in all the circumstances that we are living in now can create this doubt and fear but we have the complete you know complete uh, ownership whether we wanted to allow that fear and doubt to grow in our hearts we can always kill it from the from the time it uh, lands in our mind before it lands in our mind like the way uh, you know israel is killing uh, you know or or destroying the missiles from palestine before it hits the ground you can you can destroy it so that is the strategy which uh, you know i feel is the most uh, powerful strategy than allowing some fear and doubt to land up in your mind did you, did you watch that video on youtube which one brother the israelite intercepting yeah 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 Palestine. yes yes that is, um, it is a... and they are getting about 90 95% ah absolutely absolutely
accuracy accuracy yeah i think that is a very strategic thing in our uh, spiritual uh, warfare also yeah Maybe it lands uh, so the devil is going to bring that doubts and self destructive thoughts yeah now he, he, he you cannot stop the thoughts from coming to you correct but you can definitely stop them from producing in you yeah and how do you do that by opening your mouth and speaking the scriptures speaking the scriptures yes so if you don't speak that unbelief yeah or that thing that is giving you fear mm. then there's no chance the enemy can win yeah so we got to understand that the enemy is all the time trying to destroy us mm. by 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 deception mm. so how do you how do you overcome this doubts how do you overcome this fear we cannot overcome evil with evil yes so don't be overcome with evil mm. but overcome evil with good yeah that's what the bible says overcome evil with good now can my words of faith mm. torture and destroy the works of the devil yes it can yes so also can my words give the devil the license to operate against my own life yes it can so every moment when i open my mouth and i speak i hmm. am either giving god hmm. or the devil the authority to operate by my words hmm. and that giving the opportunity to the devil hmm. will really really make a life miserable yeah in fact uh, so if... my words yeah yeah no you so my words can give god Yeah, correct the ability to move into that situation of my life mm. and that is why god calls it as a form of prayer mm. yeah you were saying something no no yesterday i was telling no yesterday uh, this is yesterday that uh, that people spend the time in, in my meetings about covid mm. so today uh, also happened i had a meeting uh, about 2 2 hours back so my boss or my reporter to he said uh, you know it has come to my doorstep it is next door <laughs> you know a kind of fear and then it went on for uh, you know discussion on how covid is attacking how is covid etc so I, i exactly what you taught me is what i told them you know and uh, i do not know what they felt but uh, i was uh, i was able to tell them uh, as we christians what is the response instead of we have a choice to be a victim or a victor you wanted to live in fear or you wanted to live in victory so then they asked me to make a prayer so this is what has happened i was uh, you know telling you what uh, i did uh, based on what you have recommended me to do hello yeah because, because it is we see once i understand i can overcome every evil with good yeah and i also understand that what is running in my mouth mind the moment i open my mouth and i speak mm. it is a multiplication of uh, an impact that takes place in the lives of people because people expect us to speak faith mm. and i've just spoken fear yeah now that same fear when people listen they say oh even the man of god is having fear as having worry yeah. so it's natural for us to have worry mm. Mm. yeah and now you realize that worry is nothing but your uh, your belief mm. which is going against god's word mm. not not only that brother even when you as a leader that is one thing which i liked about uh, a caleb and joshua's character they never uh, you know brought in any element of worry in their conversation so you as a leader you know when we lead a group of people you know so we were i was discussing about this yesterday with someone we can't uh, you know give any kind of uh, you know relaxation 
uh, in terms of our faith level we can't even tell them okay this is okay you know or that is okay for some time you know you, even if you don't do this it is okay that approach can only uh, you know uh, give uh, the devil an opportunity to enter into our life and it could be a small loophole but that loophole if you don't understand and plug in i think that will create a huge hole in our life and it will be very difficult yeah. right yeah 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 because because all that gets activated when you open your mouth and you speak mm mm as long as it is not spoken mm. the evil report has not yet come out correct correct what if the 10 spies had not to speak anything mm. they said let caleb and joshua speak we as for us we will just hear come out mm. yeah would that save the israelites and oh, make them go into the promised land absolutely absolutely so these people's evil report not only destroyed their lives but destroyed the israelites completely that they all died in the wood yeah yeah so that is uh, that is why i think jesus uh, you know the importance of us speaking you no know? jesus said you know, if your answer is yes say yes if your answer is no no nothing beyond that that is making okay. sense for me right now you know without uh, you know we you know many times when you ask for one question we give 10 answers and at least i i used to do that many times we have that habit of uh, you know trying to you know substantiate the evidence why we had said this why we said that or why should it be like this brother yes 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 i'm listening i'm listening i'm walking that's why i'm walking ah you can switch on the camera i'm walking no 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 i'm walking in case if you sleep off no no <laughs> who will wake come you will with good ha huh? Oh, come you will with good give a good report about me <laughs> no, no if you sleep out so, yeah. so faith is the substance of things that we hope for that means it's a substance of things we desire for yeah and fear also is the substance of things that we don't desire yeah so when i talk fear mm. doubt and unbelief i am speaking into a existence mm. the things that i don't desire mm. so imagine how many christians come under this category and they open their mouth and they speak their doubts they speak their fears they speak their unbelief mm. now they are speaking into existence Mm. the things that they don't desire mm. and and when you first say them you may not realize the power of your words but mm. the more you keep on speaking it mm. the more it grips you the more that force multiplies in you mm. just as faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god yeah in the same way fear also comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god yeah so matthew 12:35 that's where i stopped today at in dubai mm. it says a good man yeah read with us yeah a good man out of uh, the good person brings good things out of a good treasure and the evil person brings evil things out of an evil treasure praise god so who is supposed to bring good things and evil things we are supposed to bring so now how many prayers do we make prayers hmm that contradicts god's word yeah and if it is contradicting god's word then is it the right thing that is happening in your life no no so am am i is it possible for me to bring self destruction in my own life yeah so there is just now there was a woman a mother who was sharing a testimony of how she kept confessing the negative things about her children mm. and all the time thinking about failure and failure and failure and the daughter kept failing mm and there came a time when this mother broke down so much that she took that failure on a personal level 
and in 24 hours she was talking absolutely rubbish hmm. she did not even know where she is she did not even know why she is doing it she was totally out of out of her mind hmm. so when she was introduced to jesus again and led into prayer hmm. and she began to come to this private meetings with juliet amom mm. and the others mm. it affected her so much that she's out of her depression mm. and that is why it is so important for us that we focus on the words that we speak because it activates the spirit realm and if we are speaking words of fear we are calling self destruction in our own life hmm. so matthew 12:35 matthew 12:35 yeah the good person brings good things out of good treasure and evil person brings evil things out of an evil treasure now give me the king james because the heart is missing but in king james it is very clear about the heart you are read yeah one second so somebody is asking a question and i'll read this and then uh, yeah 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 surely 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 a good man out of uh, the good treasure of the heart bring it food bring bring forth good things and evil man out of the evil treasure bring forth evil things so so when he's saying a good man out of the good treasure that is of the heart means good deposit made in the heart hmm. and that is what there was a good deposit in the heart of Caleb and Joshua hmm. so even though they saw what they saw hmm. they did not uh, they did not know what they saw but they did not open their mouth and speak ah. what they saw because that's not what they desired they desired that this land is given to them flowing with milk and honey yeah so vijay so, yeah yeah vijay is asking yeah, him, how to help a mom who is going on speaking such negative words about children but is not willing to come to these meetings like brother just said okay how do we now, the mom like okay okay now now mom has got a problem yes okay but you don't have a problem no no so now even though mom is saying those negative words and you don't have the problem now can you increase your quota of faith of speaking the words that mom is completely changed mom has begin to understand that the negative words that she speak only activates self destruction mm. so now even if the mom is speaking negative words the problem is with the mom or the person problem is with the mom no the problem is with the person no no oh, mom, oh. Is, mom is not spiritual okay but okay. he is spiritual so he can overcome every evil with good so can he open his mouth and speak by faith let the weak say i am strong so <laughs> now when he looks at his mom who is weak can he use the word and speak my mom is anointed my mom is blessed she is full of wisdom what now is... has he has mom is our thermometer hmm. but when he is looking at the mom was he not the thermometer himself hmm. yes now has he set the thermostat by speaking the heart's desire Hmm. So, so will might... that come to pass? Hmm. So once I understand this, is it easy now for me to operate in the system of God? Hmm. So the situation is like this, brother. Okay, a husband and wife. The wife talks negative about their children. Husband hmm. is not able to talk positive. You know. Uh, not able to not talk to us but does not know what to do so such a situation mm. 
such a situation how do you handle this so the wife is giving a evil report but the husband has every right to speak the good report of his wife by faith hmm now when the husband is seeing that the wife is bringing the evil report he has frozen he has to open his mouth and hmm. speak by faith that the wife is changed hmm now the power of faith is far far superior hmm. than the power of fear hmm so a person operating in faith is always in the winning team hmm it is only when the person does not understand the system that satan has used that moment to deceive and get what he wants because the person who is spiritual has not understood that he himself is taken for a ride hmm. so but then can you give an example of how it is because see now for example i'm just giving you a hypothetical situation okay suppose if uh, sharu speaks uh, so negative about uh, you know our, my children and no. how do i handle this situation so you speak your faith on sharu that she's already changed and she's speaking good things about your children okay so when you are planting the seed of faith uh-huh. can the seed produce its own kind yes so if you said sharu has changed Or uh, did you say Sharu will change? Ah. Uh, Which one? I, I Sharu has changed. So when you said Sharu has changed, have uh, you seen? Have you planted the seed that she's already changed? Yes. Yes. So have you brought forth good, good, good treasure out yes. of your heart? Yes. Now when you start praising God and thanking God that she has already changed, mm. is your faith in action now? Hmm. yeah so will that faith go and kill the evil report that is coming out of her mouth yes yes so who needs to change more sharu or you i need to change my prayers ah when you change your belief and your faith and plant the seed of prayer hmm. as a thermostat hmm. you have already changed the bad report into a good report hmm. instead of me giving trying to advise her or you know giving uh, ah it won't work it won't work don't give try to give her advice hmm. you speak your faith hmm. god will open her mind hmm. god will open her heart hmm. and she herself will go in an adventure hmm. with christ and discover christ herself because she knows the word yeah but she doesn't know the system yeah yeah okay did you see that Yeah, yeah, I got it. So I hope uh, this brings in. So, up. so, so remember, we overcome evil with good means. Mm. If I have to open my mouth, I only speak what the word says. Mm. Okay, just write down this. This will be very, very helpful. Yeah. When I speak my fears, did I read that? Did you write that? No, no, no. I'm writing. Okay. When I speak my fears, you dictated this, brother. You already told. Uh, is it a new one? In something new? No, no. Same, same. Acha, oh. uh, okay. did you write? Don't be overcome evil with. No, no, no. That is. I will write that. Okay, write down that. I'll read out what I write down this. Hmm. Don't be overcome with evil. Don't be overcome with evil. but overcome evil with good okay my words give the enemy my words give the enemy mm. the license to operate mm. see that again so brother. i huh see that again my words give The my enemy. words give the enemy the license to operate there on the chat also so i give yeah. so i give either god or the devil so i give so i give either god or the devil the authority the authority 
to operate to operate underline mm. by my words by my words mm. my words can give god my words can give god the ability my words can give god the ability to move in to move in on my situation to move in on my situation in life so what do you think about that yes right what you said is right so so now in this family where the husband is saying the wife is doing this 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 hmm. what is the husband doing there okay she is doing evil yeah but how is the husband overcoming that evil maybe husband is struggling to you know overcome that he doesn't he probably you know because not... he doesn't know the system brother correct yeah, correct that is right so we now try... so he, he, he is the one who issues the license whether god will operate in his family or he or, or the devil will operate in his family remember the yeah. husband is the head yeah so when he is talking the words according to the word of god yeah. has he given god the permission to move on his behalf yeah. and terminate the evil things happening in his life yes so when i am talking fear doubt and unbelief i am actually speaking into existence the things that i don't is desire and that is what exactly happening through the husband in the family because mm-hmm. the husband is spiritual the wife is not so the husband can change the situation by speaking the words of faith mm-hmm. and now when he is speaking it is affecting in his own family mm. and friends and neighbors mm. is that right yeah so most of the time we carry the good report or the evil report yeah so uh yeah yeah tell me no so now this uh, speaking uh, on the positive side next level of it is also believing right yeah believing is like this brother anything that you keep repeating over and over again mm. will now bring forth the confidence mm. and even if that person is not moving mm. that confidence in you in this project will tap you into somebody mm. who will lead you into this pro- project and you will be able to look after that project hmm that is beautiful yeah jessie ji wanted to share something yes jessie ji it's a life in thing there was a time in my life you know when i was filled with strive and looking at those things but i knew that the person who has to change is me because i'm keeping negative feelings and i said i have to spend more time in prayer and i was thinking what do i do and immediately somebody said there is a retreat so i said i want to sit there to change and when i went there i spoke to i spoke to that person who was preaching after the first talk i said see my situation is my heart there there has to be a flame of the holy fire or holy spirit but right now there is a lot of ash there is a lot of kachra and i want that to go i want to listen to the word and be released and look at everything positively the end of the retreat even before the end has i listened to the word things changed and it became really beautiful because who required was me change hmm. the hmm. reason it got changed is because faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of god correct so the more and more you began to hear faith began to rise up hmm. you renewed your mind to what you were hearing you opened your mouth and you kept say speaking hmm. now you have overcome your evil hmm. with your own good yeah and uh... also i also i had in two day three days back i think you uh, you mentioned about uh, uh, 
yeah because so that uh, you know this unforgiveness uh, in our life can uh, block the grace of god to operate not can surely it blows up the fuse yeah. and it doesn't work can yeah surely it will operate so if that thing clears now one more thing which i want to add is that faith operate in love so with that the entire script will be complete so those who are following my script please add these two verses also Uh, it has to be complete uh, in terms of uh, teaching people about the forgiveness that we need to operate in, and also the faith should operate in love. If these two elements are missing in our conversation, we uh, will not have a complete victory. So please add that thing to your script which I have shared with you, uh, in case if you have already started using it. So, so my brother, mm. when a person, let's say a couple. Mm. A is a believer. B is not a believer. B is causing trouble. Mm. So A is praying. Yeah. Now, if A is praying with what he can see, feel, and hear, mm. he is going to be nothing different by with between A and B yeah. because he is operating on a reverse faith mm. or contaminated faith mm. or corrupted faith, which is called as fear. Mm. So we who are spiritual, we try to. teach the other person the right path mm. but the the other person is not interested in learning what you want to give mm. okay so don't go after that you plant the seed of faith mm. by overcoming evil with good mm. so yeah. when you are speaking god's word the bible is very clear a good man out of the good treasure of his heart brings forth good things correct so if you are bringing forth your faith yeah. by speaking the promises of god yeah. and even though the wife is doing exactly opposite but you are increasing your calories of speaking yeah your faith yeah. from the white book the promises of god in no time you have set up a thermostat that thermostat will go and change the wife completely yeah Is God? Is God? Any more questions? We got only five minutes, ten minutes more. I have to leave. Yeah. At six thirty. Yeah. Friday is the only day I have to leave on time. Yeah. There is there is ten minutes more. Come on, anybody. Ah, uh, brother. Good evening, Joseph here. Yeah. Ah, um, brother. If if uh, let's say uh, a friend. or maybe somebody in the office or somebody uh, they are talking something negative something against uh, the word of god and they are talking there uh, so what to do in those situations uh, now uh, when they are talking first thing do you treat them as your enemy or as your friend as a friend so if they are talking negative about the christian okay will you be able to make them your friend continue in your friendship uh, we have to look them as uh, look look at them as friends i'm asking you a simple question will you continue i'm talking you joseph Ye- yes brother on what grounds will you continue because uh, jesus has told to love your enemies yeah the problem is with them or with the spirit operating in them the spirit operating in them so you are not only helping them in their work by putting in your faith seed and planting according to your need that faith seed when you understand that every seed will produce its own kind so if you have planted the seed in that relationship and you are overdosing it with thanksgiving on that same scripture it will not only affect him 
but it will affect the whole department. Okay, brother. So, so don't you think the issue is with more with us rather than with them, because that person doesn't know anything, but you knowingly are being deceived because your emotions are no longer on the word. Your emotions are on what they are doing to you. Yes, brother. My question is how to respond in that situation. You respond with your faith. Overcome evil with good means you start saying thank you, Holy Spirit, that you have anointed them, you have blessed them, you have filled with them with glory. Thank you, Lord, that no more they are in media, but they are only with you. And I thank you and I praise you that each one is doing what has been instructed, and because of which I know already. Lord, it is already done because Mark 11, 24 says that believe that it is already done. So now I can bring out good things out of my heart by going out and reaching out to the lost and praise God, not only they are saved, but their generations are saved. Praise God. Okay, brother. So need not say so, this so outside in mouth, no, brother. Just say it inside. Huh? I, I need not respond in word to them, no, brother, when they are talking. No, you only like you only plant the seed of faith okay. because you might not be the laborer for them. God has okay. chosen somebody okay. else to be the laborer. But you okay. thank God for the laborer coming into their life. You thank God for the salvation. You thank God for the complete transformation. So what you are praying is you are setting up your thermostat. Okay, brother. So the Please problem go. is with that person talking like a thermometer, but looking at what the other person is doing, unknowingly you also became a thermometer. Mm. But when you are speaking as a thermostat, you are not looking at what they are doing, you are looking at you're not what asked, Christ no. has done for them, which they don't know, and you are <laughs> prophesying on their behalf. Praise God, those promises. Now those promises are working in their life. The eyes are opened and they are converted. Praise God. And once the person gets that faith to believe, that person is an entirely different person. Praise God. Okay, brother. Thank you so much. So, so the battles are going on for a longer period of time because the spouse has failed to apply. Uh, the power called faith. And faith is that force from God that changes the seasons of people of the bad times turning now into good times because the person is now no longer operating his emotions which he was doing before and getting bugged up with his loved one but now is looking at the loved one with love and mercy where the battle is not against the loved one the battle is against the devil and that's why our battle is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers of darkness. Yes, brother. Praise God. Praise Did you get God. that? I got it, brother. Thank you so much. Praise God. So, so when you plant it day and night with thanksgiving, you will see the change taking place on the other side. And before the change can come, you will see extremely more things becoming difficult for you but as you continue to water the seed with thanksgiving, the breakthrough will surely come because faith is far more powerful than fear. Praise God. Brother, just expanding that, Joseph's question a little more. Hello? Sorry? Yeah, just expanding Sorry? Joseph's question a little more. Supposing okay. there is a group of non-Catholics and you are the only Catholic there. And if they are saying it will be more easy. It will be more easy. Something negative about your faith. Yeah, it doesn't matter. You you produce the fruit of your spirit. When, when they see you not getting annoyed, when mm -hmm. they see you full of joy, when they see you that you're overcoming evil with good, when they see you, your life is an example of love, okay? That love seed will change that person completely. Yeah, but won't they think that you are agreeing with what negative thing they are saying about that, your that faith? They are thinking, no. 
it doesn't matter what they are thinking no what you are thinking is your faith no is you your faith powerful defend, than their thinking you don't Hello. have to defend your faith huh so, uh, my hmm. question is if a person is not uh, ready okay how much time did jesus spend in making a pharisee understand something did jesus defend his faith or did no. he only plant the seeds he planted the seed so what is your job do you know more powerful seeds are when you don't open your mouth and you show them love won't that amount to agreeing with what they are saying whether you are that they, you are thinking that they are agree but when you plant a love seed you will see amazing results hello yeah yeah i'm here yes i'm, okay, I'm okay, digesting okay 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 with with your uh, with your argument or with your defending your faith okay okay you are speaking words another person is not speaking words but is living the gospel and these people are a witnessing the fruit of love which person do you think is going to change whose gospel is going to change people by words which are having shell but no gunpowder inside or the person who has got only gunpowder inside full of love hello yeah yeah uh, yeah i'm i am trying to digest what you are saying yeah yeah now gram stains when he got burnt they burnt he and his children gladys was asked a question did she argue a faith or did she just say i choose to forgive them because jesus loves them that's all now that one response of her affected so many people across the globe and especially in the area where the husband was actually burnt with their children you know what happened with that seed there was a massive massive uh, conversion yeah so your seed is based on how much you operate in love and not how much you speak to defend your gospel you can keep on defending and defending and defending without the agape love it will still be a failure got it got it yeah that's true that's true but but if you are going to plant the seed of love you will be able to overcome so many things i in my life you know i don't go go get into arguments i always say you are a winner okay and they they are very happy because they are declared winners but they see the fruit and they begin to realize even though i won the the competition but i cannot produce the fruit that he is producing how come he is doing so many good things how come he is doing so many miracles and i am giving all the bhashan but not even a headache is going out no no people's lives are changing when they see our lifestyle that our lifestyle should bring conversion in them Yes, John. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes. Enough. And and I'll tell you, brother, the more you operate on love without arguing with them, but keep on attacking the spirits that are operating there. And now that we learn today to bring out good report, a good report is not what you see. A good report is what you agree with God's word. So might be these Hindus. are against me and against my faith but if i look at what they are doing and i open my mouth and i speak what they are say doing i brought an evil report but if i bring any good report by saying lord i thank you that each one of them have experienced you and they are mighty men and women of god i did not agree with them but i planted my seed faith will it still produce the harvest yeah So keep on planting the seed faith. 
that yeah. seed faith will check my the devil like anything this need a lot of uh, practice and uh, you know deep dive into the no, it doesn't need lot of practice it needs lot okay. of right knowledge right knowledge yeah so your right yeah. knowledge will give you the right understanding and the right understanding will help you to magnify the right thing no it also needs to change that, value that magnification <laughs> of the right thing will help you to remember the right truth correct and that yeah. now that truth you are applying will make you free yeah Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. Yeah. And 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 Thank one you, more thing, you know. And the best part is, huh? God doesn't need, God doesn't need anybody to defend him. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the gospel is the truth. He would not need anybody to defend the gospel. That yeah. Is true. That makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> Because God's word stands without whether you are there or not there. It stands for all eternity. Yeah. Yeah. The thing. Yeah. A problem is our attitude has to change now. Correct. Correct. Yeah. Attitude. Is, normally is to defend. That 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 is why he said, no. When somebody strikes you on one cheek, give the other cheek. Yeah. Yeah. You you want it? You you are a winner. Come on. I accept you. You are a winner. But after you have, the whole episode is over and the person is sitting and thinking, he will have a painful heart. You know why? Because you say I insulted him, I abused him, I did so many wrong things to him. But yet he is saying yeah. he is yet loving me. Yet he is doing good thing to me. He will have a restless night. Mm. Love, mm. agape love will chase you and convert you, brother. Absolutely. It's like that missile that they are sending to Israelites. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And when that their missile is coming and they are uh, intercepting, it will go and search for that demonic spirit and kill it. Yeah. The love seed will, right, yeah. right, yeah, yes. Yeah. Yeah. That is what the uh, that hearken to the spoken word of God. <laughs> <laughs> I am, I am I really, you know. Brother, 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 brother. In real life, no. Yeah. People want to, people want to win arguments. Mm. They want to win all those things. Mm. You, you won it. Come on, you, you became a hero in front of everybody. Everything is right. Mm. But in the eyes of God. Yeah. You are not on God's principles. Yes. It is the principles of faith that will run in the future. Yeah. You got temporary because the world is depending on this thing, you know, a majority wins. Mm, yeah. So just because mm. the world said you are a winner, does that mean you are a winner? Mm. You are a winner when you are in the kingdom of heaven because the kingdom of heaven is the one that is far superior than the kingdom of the world. Yes. Right. So I would rather be a winner in the eyes of God than being a winner in the eyes of people. Yeah. So you can be a winner in the eyes of people, but yet be a big loser in the eyes of God. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So which one are you trying to win? <laughs> yeah. Who's got which competition you want to win? Yeah. So <laughs> even I was like that, brother, in the beginning, my defender of faith, and then the Lord said, "When did you become God?" even whether you do you open your mouth or not my word stands the same it has been the same forever yeah god doesn't yes. need defender yes yeah, yes yeah, yeah. that's true he doesn't that's need your argument he doesn't need your fight he needs only that you operate in agreement with him with love amen amen yeah okay <laughs> okay <laughs> dubai will dubai will You know, I have Dubai. I'm late by five minutes. Yeah. And flight will not take me much time. Only one minute. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, uh, brother. Thank you, brothers and sisters. Yeah. Wonderful to have you all of you. If you have not subscribed to this yeah. uh, these videos, please uh, you know subscribe to Happy Families YouTube channel. Brother, are you putting this video in JCILM also? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Marina is doing that. Okay. So it is available in JCILM. Uh, so, no, but we want you to come over here. Yeah. <laughs> because because what happens, you know, where we want all the ministries to grow up. Mm. We want everybody to grow up. Yeah. So if God has given us a bigger platform, we see to it that how can somebody with a new platform, not I'm saying bigger or smaller, a mm. person with a new platform can come mm. with the right teaching, mm. and and. and use the platform to preach and that's how the ministry begins to grow brother 
brother this thought today uh, can i can i take one minute i had this very strong thought uh, in you know, about thinking about this group that god has got a great plan for this group okay i do not know what it is but we should uh, probably uh, start praying for it because god's fulfillment has, has to happen in through this group not that we just come every day 5:30 to 7 o'clock sit and listen to the word much beyond that we do not know what it is but we wanted to you know declare that god's plan god's will happen this group and mightily this is going to be a you know take off uh, plan uh, pad for many ministries to come up and god is going to use each one of us to you know as a, as a mighty instrument in his kingdom i think this prayer we should make it every day brother that is your okay go ahead go ahead go ahead your responsibility you pray father we thank you that this is you who has started this and you are a god who starts everything with small and when you are faithful and believing and we respond to your teaching in agreement oh lord not only we pass the test our character is built up our destination is changed but also father because of the faith that we see in abraham the father of faith we learn from all these heroes in the bible how they could stand and withstand every pressure of the world and yet go into victory we are baptized as with the same holy spirit lord everything is the same all we need to do is change our mind and we thank you we praise you for the change and transformation that, that takes place, place in this bible, bible class, class. and so many lives are being transformed because these truths are really challenging each one to go and practice and experience the awesome presence of god thank you father for this truths that what you started in a small way you are raising it up and every member is a member of christ is the body of christ we are different parts but one body and there is no competition oh lord the eye cannot compete with the ear neither can the ear compete with the hands because each one is unique each one is special and each one's purpose is unique so father i thank you that you have blessed everyone with new jobs thank you and praise you lord for your abundant presence in our life thank you and praise you lord Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen, brother. Thank you very much. So see you all tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Love you, brother.